Hello everyone. My name is Ashish Prajapati. I'm the co-founder of Strika, the company building Cardano Scan, Typhoon Wallet, and now Flex Finance. We are building in the Cardano ecosystem from late 2019, building tools and open source projects for the Cardano ecosystem, including the Cardano integration into Ledger Live. I would like to thank the Cardano community for voting for me to be able to present at the summit. And today I'm going to talk about building scalable tools on Cardano using some core Cardano fundamentals. Let's get started. Cardano Scan is the most widely used blockchain explorer for Cardano. And here are some states from the past 30 days. We have had more than 500,000 users in, in the past month with 1.6 million plus page views, 90 million plus requests on our backend infrastructure with 1.46 terabytes of data served, 0 0.06 seconds of least load time and 2.36 seconds of average load time on the website and it's also very exciting to see uh, that the Cardano community is all around the world having 195 countries accessing the explorer every month so let's go ahead and and see how uh, we built Cardano scan let's talk about Ouroboros mini protocols these are very fundamental to building any analytics platform on Cardano Cardano is built from ground zero with peer-to-peer -peer research and a lot, of the, a lot of the technology that is used with Cardano is built specifically for Cardano. Ouroboros mini protocols are one such, uh, one such technology. Node to node protocols and node to client protocols. These are the two types of mini protocols that are used uh, to communicate in the Cardano network from one node to another. Node to node protocols are used to communicate between relays and producers, where node to client protocols are, can be used by applications like Cardano Scan to talk to Cardano node and fetch the information and can be used by wallets to submit the transaction. So whenever you submit a transaction on Typhon wallet, it goes through local transaction submission protocol. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how, how we can implement node to client protocol, chain sync protocol. Due to time limit, we can only talk so much, uh, but I, I'll do my best to give you an overview of how we can implement uh, chain sync mini protocol. First step to using this uh, implementing chain sync protocol is called Handshake, which includes uh, an application initiating a transaction, initiating a connection with the Cardano node, asking that I would like to talk protocol version 3005, and I want to utilize chain sync and also transaction submission. And I would also like to query the local state. If the Cardano node you know, is able to talk this protocol, it will accept the connection or it can reject the connection. This is made possible by multiplexing uh, the protocol. Once the connection is established, you can go ahead and start uh, making use of the chain sync protocol. The second step uh, in using this protocol is find intersect. In find intersect, we initiate um, syncing of the blocks from Cardano node, which starts by telling the Cardano node that I want to start syncing from block 100. Maybe we have the blocks until 99, so or till 100. So I want to start from the 100. I want to get 101, 102, 103, etc. So you send the request to Cardano node, and then the Cardano node can respond back by saying that I have the block 100. Now we can start syncing or the Cardano node can say that I do not have block 100 and you want to try again with some another block height. Once the Cardano node accepts that it has a pointer, the Cardano node is going to keep a track of till which number you are syncing the blocks to. The third step of using this chain sync protocol is by starting syncing the blocks. So if the Cardano node has confirmed that you got 100, zero, zero, then you can ask for the next block. When you ask for the next block to Cardano node, it will return back by saying that um, here's the next block. If the Cardano node doesn't have the block, it's going to let you know that, please wait, I do not have the block yet. Once I receive the next block, I'll send it to you. 
And while syncing the blocks, we went from 101, 102, 103, and suddenly if a rollback happens on the network, the Cardano node will send you an intimation uh, telling you to roll back to some block number and the application, you have to do that logic and then start syncing again. So these three steps are uh, the main uh, steps for implementing um, your chain sync protocol and start syncing blocks from the Cardano node. The block you get directly in your application, then you can, so once you, once you get the block, you decode it, then you can decode the block, which will convert the Seaboard block representation to a JSON representation. And now you have pretty much full control over how we want to utilize this decoded block. So once you have a JSON, you can create an application, we call it say indexer. Once indexer gets the JSON, you can write all sorts of business logic saying, you know, I want to track balances for a certain address. I want to track, um, you know, the delegations to a certain pool and all this business logic, you can write the data to either a Postgres uh, database or a MongoDB or Radish, or you can bring your own uh, database here. The indexer is basically your choice of language, your choice of uh, application. Once you have the database ready, you are basically a pro. You just have to now build the tools around it to utilize the data. Once you get the index data, now you can build tools such so like, you know, an NFT minting service. So you can build a business logic, your index service um, saying that if, if I receive a payment to an address, then you send an NFT back to the same address. Or you can also build payment services like, you know, if, if I receive some NFT, then you have to send it 10 ADA back. So you can build such uh, business logic in your application. Once you sync all this data into your databases, you can also build light wallet applications. Typhon wallet is the best example to use this same exact infrastructure. Um, so whenever you use Typhon wallet, you see the balances that is actually fetched by this exact infrastructure. When you submit a transaction, the local TX submission protocol is used to submit your transaction to the node. And then you can also use this database for you know, building explorers, building analytics dashboards. Cardano scan is again the best example to use this exact infrastructure for serving data for Cardano. And then lastly, another example is building telegram services like we have Cardano scan bot service on which you can subscribe to a stake pool. And whenever the stake pool generates uh, means a block or if the stake pool receives delegation, it basically sends the notification to the user. So it also uses the exact infrastructure to do all such things. Thank you everyone for listening. Um, here's my Twitter handle. If you want to connect with me, uh, our company handle, our GitHub, please go to our GitHub and explore the open source projects that we are building. Uh, and lastly, the website, if you want to get in touch with us. Uh, thank you so much.